Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My name is Mr. Dogboat333, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fort Kaiser Redux as People's Art of Transom War. Now, uh, we're sort of coming up near uh, near the end here, I think. Um, let's see, in the last couple of videos, we started doing a lot of pushes, and uh, our allies got pushed a fair bit. Um, it's been about a week since I recorded. I've come back from uh, my little vacation in Vegas, and it was alright, but I'm also tired. Uh, very, very tired. Uh, a little drained uh, socially. And just in general, it was a fun trip, but, you know, a lot of talking, a fair bit of drinking. Uh, so, you know, that ends up adding up. Uh, but we're just going to go ahead and see kind of where we picked up. See if we can't get some research going. Get support weapons, that's probably going to be helpful. And, um... Yeah, let's move in, get these guys, uh, nice and rescued. There we go. Um, so yeah, a little tired. Uh, but hey, what are you gonna do? Other than just, uh, keep on keeping on. Do that, see if we can't stop them. It's, um... It's getting more tedious than anything, and then again, these guys are uh, getting pushed pretty badly. I think it said that, um... Yeah, if uh, Mongolia capitulates, I think we're fucked. So we'll just have to keep an eye on them. We'll see if we can get the circle off. We're officially out of manpower. Um, probably not manage it the best. And then again, um, I did not really uh have the best of luck. Did I? I mean, uh, it turned into one on one pretty quickly. And uh, I mean, this world is just. Huh? Um. I'm just gonna look the other way, you know? In yeah, Mexico, I'll take some volunteers. Um, yeah, um, well, that's that, then. Let's look some new research. Um, really just don't know what to do at this point. Honestly, I do kind of want to, uh, I want to be uh, in the Entente right about now, let me tell you that much.
We got a couple options of what we can do. Keep that marked. And, um, we just need to get uh, done with Swore, which, um, <sighs> hold on, I, I, I think I'm going to sneeze. Ah! Achoo! Choo! Ah! Well, that was a uh, intense sneeze. Well, Spear and Army is gloriously marched with a tiger in swamps, reaching Ye Yekaterinburg in the Ural Mountains. Seems that victory is so close, we can be sure it will be. We will achieve it very soon. Soldiers of the liberated Siberian cities have been met with trepidation as the great soldiers of the Siberian army, who once again, as in 1918, have marched through their cities. Huh, Siberia. My home, Siberia. We'll stand up for you. Looks like we got some uh, cores on some of this. We got. Or not? Oh, yeah, we did. Just need to unpause. We can rename Petrograd. So let's see what we can do. Now we've decided to revive the monarchy in Russia. There are still reminders of revolutionary years in 1917. Some geographical features still praise the revolution, while others were named after the symbols of our great country lost and lost their original names after the revolution. We wanted the Second Russian Empire to be worthy of successor to the first. We need to raise the reminder of the revolution. Let's uh, return historical names of Peter City. And let's hit this little button. And Kolchak first fled to Transmore. He brought with him all manners of exiles, whose normal Puglis were too much for normal Russian society. One such group was the Union of Young Russia, also known as the Mladen Rossi. Professing a mixture of Tsarist monarchism and Bolshevik communism, the power the group was able to come to power in the aftermath of Kolchak's death. Following a bloody reenactment of the civil war, the forces of the Red Tsar have emerged victorious to unite Russia against all. Unite Russia, unite Russian people. I'm counting on you, Nikolai II, Tsar, and Soviets. Look at Kerensky's legacy. As part of Kerensky's reforms in the 20s, many cities were na renamed. The names of some bore reminders of the monarchical past of uh, Russia's others were called in the German matter, the worst enemy of Russia, because of which the great changes of the last 20 years took place. Now that Kerensky's identity is considered highly controversial as his politics, maybe time to restore the old names of these cities under which they saw the glorious times in the motherland, history of our motherland under new names as they experience only in the instability and crises of the young Russian democracy. Let's return to reflections of the glorious times. This is probably the, um, the most accurate Well, I can think of. Let's make let's make Moscow the capital. If we can. There we go. Long live Russia, one and indivisible. It's a little annoying we're going to have this even though. Well, let's fix that. Let's get some building. Some fighter twos. Some air support twos. Put 
There we go. Oh, we have to finish Siberian Scientists, really? Oh, might as well. Um, let's do, uh... We'll start with the old tractor networks. There's one thing Russia does not lack, it's land. We shall set up space-sponsored factories and steel works deep within the heart of our nation, produce mechanized vehicles far beyond the reach of Europe. Do that. Why not? And then we'll just sit around and we'll let um, them do the Shangji click. going to do let's get some rubber that's a little ominous hmm what's going on Okay, they're worth, uh, Japan now. Alright, well. Let's well, real quick. Set the boys up. Now you keep your troops. Probably should micro them. Knowing how the AI gets, but I won't. Because I don't trust them. Well, that's just annoying for us, isn't it? Eight of Central Asia. Let's try to reintegrate San Central Asia. Let's start by integrating uh, Lash Orda, which we will do. Now let's use Siberian Scientist. Our recent conquests have brought many wise minds into our scientific facilities. We use them to improve the practical capabilities of our scientific efforts. And then soon we can do New Russia after that. I don't know how much we can do without taking Germ out uh, Germany, honestly. But, uh... Yeah. We'll just go ahead and get her started. Then take her from there. Let's get better artillery going. Um, 
So just about in position. guys want to yeah, you, you guys can move it's um and actually I realized I did an offensive line that'll that'll do it yeah sure Next, um, I'm gonna have to be at peace, goddammit. Well, that bit me in the butt. Let's expand industry around the lake by call. We now have a very developed industrial region of Akuts in our hands. It's already strong industrial, has strong industrial potential, but can be proved even more if we open some new facilities. Well, that's interesting. Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. Guess work on nuclear reactors. We're late enough in the game where we might as well work on them. And then industry stuff, which... Fallen ill. Knows that happened a couple times whenever you invade that island. It's always a little weird slash annoying, but uh, what are you gonna do? Gonna move into the rest of Manchuria. Jaws and Hayil are capitulating. Ah, oh, Jesus, fuck. Yeah, this is just uh, pure chaos, isn't it? Um, factories, go. Um, I read a comment, I think it was, um, I forget the name of the person, but they did suggest to start building more civic factories, which I, I did start slacking on a little bit. Um, so let's get working on some more civic factories. I don't have cores over here. Not quite sure why that is. That's beyond my pay grade why that is or is not the case. Expanding industry. So if I have a Trans-Siberian Railway, now that that's the larger part of Trans-Siberian Railway. The railway itself is in very poor condition, but if we invest in efforts to rebuild and improve it, our supply lines will be greatly improved. I think we more, own more than just a great chunk of it at this point, but point taken. Well, 
Take your guns, Gandhi. Thank you. Kind of weird to get guns from Mahatma Gandhi, isn't it? But, um... I'm just not going to question it. And, uh, you shouldn't either. I don't think you have time to question it anyway, because this video is, uh... We're about to out of time for it. So... Thanks so always for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, like. If not, feel free to dislike. More than one of this content feature, the sub on for uploads weekdays as well as occasionally Saturdays. If you have comments, feedback, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I real comments again. Appreciate any all the feedback you might have for me. If you want to chat for the games of any sort, check out my Discord down link below or description box below. If you want to see me next week, every month, check out my Patreon. If you want to see me do this for a lot, I have Twitch. If you want to see me do non-game related content, I have a second channel. All of those links are down in the description box below. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name has been Mr. Dogboat 33, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.